is 25 days till the man burns and today we're talking about what to wear in the day. Burning Man can feel a bit like a fashion parade, you'll see people channeling steampunk, people in sparkly boozy shorts, people in nothing at all. You'll see all kinds of amazing outfits out there. And when you start looking at the kinds of things that people wear out there, it might feel a bit like wearing a regular pair of like shorts and a t-shirt are gonna make you stick out like a sore thumb. So first up, comfort trumps everything. At least for me it does. I'm sure that there are some people out there that are wearing less than comfortable outfits, but even if you are gonna go that way, you still wanna bring some stuff that's just gonna be really, really comfortable to wear. Watch out for any fabrics that are scratchy or that could chafe you, you know, like denim shorts or thick fabric things where the folds are gonna get very uncomfortable. Like I find with denim shorts, because the fabric's very thick, that kind of join where your thighs meet your hips, that tends to bunch up and it can get quite uncomfortable after a while. Compared to say a pair of shorts that are made of like a thinner, lighter fabric material. So I like to give any bottoms that I'm bringing along like a crouch test. So you pop them on and like crouch down or sit down and see how much it bunches up around the tops of your thighs and see whether it's the kind of bunching that's gonna get very uncomfortable after a while. The tops, it's the same, but around the armpits, you wanna make sure you've got that range of motion in your arms so you can like swing them around, wave your arms in the air, like you just don't care. You know, there's a ton of fun things to do at Burning Man and it's not gonna be that much fun if you are like completely restricted by all your clothing and you don't have that freedom of movement. Beach or holiday wear, those can be like great Great choices because they are kind of designed for hot uncomfortable environments you know the beach isn't the most comfortable place to be with all that sand so they tend to be very good fabrics very light fabrics very breathable and generally a lot of beach and holiday wear they come in you know really cool fabrics really like bright colors or cool patterns but something I particularly like about beach wear is that a lot of the ranges they offer things that will you know like cover your shoulders or cover areas of your body that are more likely to burn so if sunburn is a concern for you then you know check out if they have anything that's just gonna cover up any areas that are likely to burn so you can just chuck them on for the hottest hours of the day I always like to bring along like a basic bikini as well because I find the fabric is like really comfortable trekking gear is another great option you know a lot of those clothes are designed for you know desert trekking or trekking in hot environments as well as for you know doing a lot of activity because they're expecting you to like trek for miles in it and chances are at Burning Man you are going to be doing quite a lot of trekking about I know they don't generally look as fabulous as a pair of like sparkly booty shorts or a cat suit, but they are probably going to be pretty comfortable. So if you don't own any trekking stuff, you could head down to a trekking shop, you know, check out what they've got for desert style trekking or trekking in hot environments. And you'll probably find they have some amazing things, some really nice breathable fabrics, clothes with really conveniently placed like mesh panels. All those handy double up options, you know, you can get like the trousers where you can just like unzip the trouser leg and then they turn into shorts. Those are quite a good option as well. Especially if your adventuring tends to last a long time and you find yourself out in the evening and it starts to get cooler and you can just kind of like zip your trouser leg back on. And even though most of the clothes you'll find in trekking shops, they can border a bit on the bland and beige. You know, don't forget that you can jazz them up yourself. You can like decorate them in some way to make them a bit cooler. Also, trekking shops are a great place to get hats. Whatever hat you choose, you kind of want something that has some kind of chin strap or something where, you know, you can attach it because strong winds can appear from nowhere at Burning Man and you don't want to bring along a hat to like protect your face and the back of your neck. And then the first day it goes like blowing off your head and across the player and it's like lost forever. I find the best kind of hats are ones that shade both your face and the back of your neck. So look out for something like that. Charity shops, secondhand shops, thrift shops, vintage shops, whatever you want to call them. That is where a ton of burners wardrobes come from. You can find some absolutely amazing pieces in there for really, really good prices, like bargain prices. So it's definitely worth having a hunt around in them. And again, don't forget you can customize it if it's not quite as funky as you'd like it to be then you know you can go at it and make it as cool as you want it to be and because you probably got it at a bargain price you're not going to feel so bad you know like cutting it up with scissors compared to how you would if you had bought it like brand new from a trekking shop and it cost you like a good amount of money so at the start of this video i did mention you know just regular old t-shirt and shorts and you can absolutely wear that if you have stuff that you're like i'm just comfortable in my regular clothes i have some stuff that seems suitable for the environment and that's what I'm gonna wear, go for it. If that's what you feel good in, then wear that stuff. You don't have to have like an elaborate outfit. You don't have to like 
dress up even though personally it is something that i love about burning man you know this like eccentric fashion that's on display and and the fact that that can just be your day wear and it's not like considered strange you know if you are more comfortable in your regular clothes then go for it and even though a lot of the pictures online kind of show you people dressed up in elaborate outfits if you look at the people in the background you will see a lot of people in just quite regular clothes you know shorts and a bikini top or guys that are just wearing like regular shorts there are plenty of people out there that aren't in elaborate pieces that are just in quite regular clothes if you are a first timer i do think it is nice to bring along one or two like funky pieces just in case the mood does take you if you are like you know what i really just fancy wearing a tutu and some fairy wings today you know it's nice to have that option having lots of light colored pieces is a good idea for burning man you know black pieces like absorb the sun or something and so it makes you hotter to wear dark colors so try and go for some light colored pieces for in the day when it is very hot and again you know light fabrics really airy breezy things i would avoid bringing only tight fitting things you probably will want a few things that are just like a bit loose and flowy so you can kind of feel that breeze on you when it's going you know if everything you bring is fitted you might end up finding that it's a bit restrictive you might find that you know it's just like hot or uncomfortable to be wearing all the time so make sure you're bringing some different options with you comfortable underwear are a must i know that for some of you heading out there you are you are looking for a bit of a love connection you're hoping you might meet the burner of your dreams you might want to be wearing something a bit cute and sexy underneath whatever you've got on but you're probably not going to want to be stuck in you know lacy knickers or g-strings or thongs or just kind of uncomfortable underwear the whole time you are there for ladies UTIs and yeast infections are kind of a common player ailment like lots of people get hit with them so if that happens to you you're definitely gonna want some comfortable underwear and obviously you know wearing very uncomfortable underwear can kind of cause those things to happen as well so I mean in general just bringing along some nice breathable cotton underwear that you can wear is it's gonna be nice and bring along extra because you might find you want to change them a bit more frequently especially if you are you know adventuring all day or you're just getting a bit dusty down there you might want to change them out for a nice fresh clean pair it is a good idea to keep your underwear and socks in a ziploc bag so they're not getting super dusty so that when you change them you are actually changing into a clean pair rather than a pair that is just like covered in dust so like with underwear socks as well you want to bring along lots of lovely comfortable socks to be wearing for footwear boots are the way to go they're going to protect your feet from player dust which means you are protecting them from player foot which are chemical burns on your feet from the alkaline player dust and they'll also help protect you from any rogue rebar that is like poking out of the ground just waiting to scratch your ankles it is a good idea to make sure that whatever boots you're bringing along are really nicely broken in because you do not want to be dealing with blisters or any other kind of foot related trauma while you're out there and it's also nice to bring along you know a pair of flip-flops or something so that you know if you're just hanging out in camp you can just you know chuck your flip-flops on if you just want to run to the port loose quickly you know you can pop your flip-flops on you know the player dust is harsh on your feet but, you know you don't have to keep your feet in a protective bubble all the time a bit of exposure is not going to hurt you especially if you are like washing your feet properly with a vinegar water mix so while i wouldn't advise like running around on your daytime adventures in just flip-flops it is nice to have a pair just for you know back at camp you'll also want some kind of bag or utility belt or maybe both for you know anything that you need with you while you are out adventuring you know you're going to want to be carrying around a supply of water and sun cream and lip balm and whatever else you need while you're out so if you have a camelback or something that can work great for the water and then you might find you just need a utility belt to go with it for all your extra bits and pieces a small backpack can work great as well some people like to have both like a utility belt and some kind of bag because you know often when you are doing something you're going to put your bag down and you might just want a utility belt that has kind of your essential bits and pieces in that you're going to want to be able to reach all of the time but again whatever you go for make sure it is nice and comfy you don't want to bring along a bag with you that is just pulling on your shoulders giving you shoulder ache or it's like rubbing or something so make sure you choose something nice and comfy and it's a decent kind of size for whatever you want to carry around you don't want to be carrying around like a huge trekking bag just with like a bottle of water and some sun cream in there and likewise you don't want a teeny tiny bag that's not going to fit your supplies for the day in it so if you are buying a new bag or you have lots of bags to choose from it might be worth figuring out kind of 
what you think you'll need to be carrying around in the day so that you pick one that's a good kind of size. If you're going to use it for the night as well, you know, figure out what you'll be carrying at night so that you can get the right size bag. Nipple pasties and cock socks. If you're planning to go nude, there are places where the sun doesn't get to shine too often and those places tend to be a bit more sensitive to the sun than other places. So if you are concerned about how those places are gonna to react to the sun, you might wanna bring along something so you can just cover them up if you do think that they're starting to get burned. I can't even imagine what it would be like to get sunburned somewhere like that. But yeah, nipple pasties, cock socks, they're a great way to go. You know, maybe just in the hottest hours of the day, if you don't wanna pop on a proper cover up, then you know, just some pasties or a sock. Hopefully that will be enough to stop your bits and pieces getting burned. Of course, alternatively, you could just bring along some pieces for cover up, even if you're not planning to go nude, if you're planning to wear things where maybe your shoulders are exposed or there's lots of areas exposed, then you might want some bits that you can just cover up in. Cause you know, you might not want to be hiding out in the shade during the hottest hours of the day, or you know, if you just burn very easily and having some bits to just cover up in are really gonna help you out. I really advise everyone to bring along at least one cover up thing just in case you do get burnt because if you get burnt those burns are not gonna heal if you keep exposing them to the sun they're potentially just gonna get worse. So bringing along something where you can just cover up if you do get burns or you feel like you're starting to burn, it's really gonna help you like prevent that and make sure that you can have a nice time. Cause you know, being burnt at Burning Man is really no fun. Whatever clothes you go for, make sure you avoid anything that is potentially moopy. If it has frayed edges and those frayed edges are kind of falling off all the time, if it's got maybe like sequins, or beads or something glued onto it where they aren't really secured on properly, then avoid them. There's a huge chance that, you know, those beads or sequins or frayed bits, they're gonna be falling off and just creating a trail of moop. If you do end up unintentionally bringing something that is kind of mooping everywhere, then pop it in a Ziploc bag or a bin bag or something and tie it up so that it's not a problem anymore. You know, stop wearing it as soon as you realize that it is creating a lot of moop. One of the principles of Burning Man is decommodification. So it's best to avoid any pieces that have logos on them, especially if they are like really large logos. You usually see it with like sports gear or trekking gear and stuff where it has like a huge logo across the front or the back or something. You know, if some of your stuff has like small logos on it, like you'll probably find your sunglasses have like small logos. You know, that's not the end of the world, but just, you know, avoid anything that's just like one big advertisement for the brand that made that outfit. For ladies' wears, you know, like bras and stuff, we all know that bras can be a bit uncomfortable. I feel like the larger your chest is, the more uncomfortable the things that you can buy for it are. I find that sports bras, bikinis, swimsuits, things like that, they tend to be quite comfortable. It's probably a good idea to avoid anything with too much padding that's, you know, gonna end up with things getting quite hot. As well as underwire, I know that some people need underwire to give them the amount of support that they need, but if you can kind of do without it, then you might want to skip underwire stuff because that can be a bit uncomfortable as well. So if you do need underwire or padding or anything like that, then try and go for like the comfiest options that are available. I find things like, you know, the t-shirt bras where they're very, very simple. They tend to be quite good. The fabric is quite breathable. You can get them, you know, without much padding. And they seem to be designed a bit more for like comfort over style. With underwear, I did already mention, you know, like lacy underwear and thongs. But I would definitely avoid any like body shaping stuff, especially for the daytime where it's very hot. It's really not gonna be comfortable to be wearing like spanks or body shapers or anything that's just like crush hugging you all day. You know, if you normally wear that kind of thing, then nighttime might be a good time to wear it because it's cooler. But in the day, it's just gonna be way too hot to be in something like that. So again, if you are gonna bring that stuff along, make sure it's not your only option. Make sure you've brought along some kind of comfier choices just in case you find that's not really working out for you. There are some essentials that I do think that everyone should bring. So I already mentioned, you know, like a wide brimmed hat or some kind of hat that's gonna shade your face and your neck. Sunglasses, it's a good idea to bring some spares. It's very easy to lose sunglasses. So you might not wanna bring along your like super fancy expensive ones. You might wanna get some kind of cheaper ones for Burning Man. Dust mask and goggles, you know, they're pretty much essential or, you know, a bandana, kefir, a scarf, whatever you're using for a dust mask. 
lip balm, sun cream, I know they're not exactly clothes, but you know, make sure you've got your essentials and a way to carry them about in the day if you need to be carrying them. I really like to bring along accessories to just kind of jazz up my day wear. Cause you know, a lot of my day wear is really just like a bikini top and some shorts. So it's, you know, it's not that exciting. So I really like head pieces, you know, like horns or just very elaborate head pieces. Especially if they offer a bit of shade, that can be nice. Tutus, tails, face paints, like really anything I can think of that kind of will just jazz up an outfit that means that I'm not actually wearing that much extra and definitely nothing uncomfortable. Those are like my favorite things. I try and look for very versatile stuff that, it, you know, I'm gonna be able to wear with lots of different outfits. And it is a great way to just make things look a bit more exciting if you are wearing kind of bland clothes. If you are just wearing, you know, regular normal day clothes and you want to feel a bit dressed up without kind of going full dressed up or without having to spend a whole lot of money, then just going for some accessories that you can team with whatever it is you're wearing. It's gonna make you feel dressed up and feel nice without you having kind of broken the bank or you having to like bring along a load of extra stuff. So one thing I do want to say about outfits is it can be a bit concerning for people that maybe feel like they don't have a socially acceptable body compared to kind of the pictures they see of people at Burning Man. And I do not think that what you see online when you Google, you know, Burning Man clothes, Burning Man fashion, I don't think that's a very good representation of the variety and diversity of people that are there. You very much see a ton of just very beautiful, model-esque looking people. And you know, when you're stuck with like your regular old human body, you can feel a bit like, wow, I'm going to a place where I'm surrounded by all these beautiful people and like I'm just like a normal person but trust me you're gonna see like such a diverse mix of people and body types and looks and fashion you know we are all the same underneath and I do think that there is this like thing you know like beach body but dustier the like dusty burner body but please try not to worry about that kind of stuff I like I say the pictures and stuff you're seeing on the internet it is representing a very small fraction of the people at Burning Man. It seems to very much represent like one body type and really not all that much else. The way I see it is, would you rather spend your time at Burning Man being self-conscious about your body and maybe wearing clothes that are not particularly comfortable, you know, like body shaping clothes or feeling like you need to cover up your body because you think that you don't have the right kind of body to be seen in like a bikini and shorts or something? Or would you rather spend your time at Burning Man not worrying about that stuff and just having fun and adventures. I feel like many people spend enough time, you know, worrying about how they look and being self-conscious about their bodies. You know, think of Burning Man as a place where you don't need to worry about that. There's more important and more fun things that you could be doing with your time than worrying about, you know, whether or not you look a bit fat in that outfit or whether you've got a bit of a stomach roll or whether or not your hair's perfect. You know, wear what you want to wear, wear what you feel comfortable wearing, wear what you feel happy wearing. And, you know, if you do feel self-conscious, you know, wear stuff that you're not gonna feel self-conscious in. You know, wear things that are making you feel good and comfortable and happy. Don't wear stuff that you feel like you should wear or that you have to wear. So I hope this is helpful, guys. Guys, if any of the rest of you have any tips or advice for good things to wear while you're out there or things to bring along or you know let us know what your absolute favorite thing to wear out there is what is the thing that you just would not be without then let us know in the comments below and if you see me at Burning Man this year feel free to come and say hi to me bye guys